and what I'm going to be showing you to do in this video is to make a loofah dip soap. So you're going to be taking a regular natural loofah. We're going to be making soap and we're going to be dipping it. And then you can see here on this tray, these have been, these are the ones I made yesterday for the video and they're ready to go on the drying racks. So this recipe is very easy. Um, dipping the soap is very easy to do. makes a really nice gift. And so I hope you enjoy this video. Give me a thumbs up if you do. Bye-bye. Hello, everyone. It's a beautiful day in deep south Texas. And it's Saturday, which is one of my favorite days of the week. Because Saturday, I have time to put all my creations that have been rolling around in my head all week into reality. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm actually going to do a lot of things today. Um, candle making, soap making, lotion making, making popsicles, and on and on. But um, right now I'm going to be making lofa or lufa soap, depending on how you say your oohs or your o's. Um, I purchased these lufas. They're natural lufas. You can see here they have the holes. And I purchased them from uh, ecolufa at yahoo.com. And I'll post that if you can see it. I made these last year before Christmas, and I have a studio, a health and wellness studio, where I sell my soaps. Um, and these were just such a big hit. And it's, you know, it's October, almost the middle of October now, and my customers are asking me for this loofah soap. So I'm going to make hand-dipped loofah soap. And um, so that's what is going to, I'm going to make, I've, I've lined my, my, um, baking tray with parchment paper i already actually have on the stove my um lye water and um it has himalayan salt and sugar in it and tuscan silk in it and i put it there last night so it will cool because i like to soak at room temperature so let's get the oils going to melt and so uh, this is actually a very easy recipe there's i'm not going to do any swirls or any coloring techniques. I'm going to make it one color. I'm going to use paprika to color it. I'm going to sprinkle the top with gold glitter and the fragrance that I'm going to use is going to be autumn fig har harvest. Um, and I'm going to use, it's going to be mostly, a, it's going to have cocoa butter in it, coconut oil, uh, olive oil and castor oil. Very easy recipe to make. And my puppy wants it to hold it. So I'm going to zero the scale to measure out what's going to be my hard oils first because I want to melt them and then bring the, the oils down to room temperature by adding the olive oil and not heating that. So my recipe calls for, oh by the way I have this soaping book. I keep track of every single soap that I've made with pictures here, recipes, the date. This recipe I made on October 31st. It was actually uh, last year that I made this. A two, uh, it's going to be a four pound batch this time. Um, so I'm going to put in here 20 ounces of coconut oil. So I've put my bowl on my scale. I've zeroed my scale. So I can measure out each oil into the, directly into the bowl just by simply zeroing the scale. So that's a pretty basic technique right there. Uh, coconut oil makes your oil nice and hard, but if you use too much of it, I also find it very drying to the skin. So I don't like to use, I don't like to make mostly coconut oil soap. I like to use it in my soaps because it, of, it gives it the hardness, but I don't like my um, soaps to be mostly coconut oil. So I've zeroed it again, and I'm going to add my cocoa butter, my beautiful organic cocoa butter, and I'm going to add eight ounces to this. I love putting cocoa butter in my soap because it just makes it even harder so that it won't dissolve when it gets wet. You know, like some bars of homemade soap, you, you use them once and you set them there, and they just kind of go bloop and turn into a blob of goo. Okay. This is eight ounces here. So I have my hard oils in here, these two. So I'm gonna put it in the microwave for about a minute and stir it, another minute and stir it until everything is dissolved in here and then I'll get back to you. While I was waiting for um, 
my hard oils to melt, I went to howtomakesoap.org slash soap dash calculator and I use this very frequently. Um, all you do is you go to step four. You can skip step one, two, and three. I go to step four. I type in my oil. Well, I don't type it in. I select it from the down button and then put in how many ounces and it tells me how what the percentages of the soap each oil is going to be. And then I am... Um, I go down to calculate and it tells me how much lye to use and water. So let's do that. Oh, before I click on there, I want to show you it'll step five will show you the soap properties. So the hardness level, the cleansing, conditioning, bubbling, creaminess, and total. Now keep in mind it doesn't know that I've used Himalayan salt um, for hardness and it doesn't know that I've used some organic sugar for um, bubbliness. So it says I need to use 21.28 ounces of water and 7.73 uh, ounces of um, sodium bicarb, not sodium bicarb, sodium hydroxide, which is the lye. So that's how you would figure that out. That's your recipe right there. So yeah, this is a great site. I'll show you guys it again. And I have this bookmarked because anytime I want to change oil in a recipe, I need to recalculate the lye and the water because of the saponification values. So I use this a lot and this is what I'll use to actually create many of my own recipes on this uh, website right here. So let's check out our hard oils. I think they're probably melted. Okay, so my hard oils are melted, which is my cocoa butter and my coconut oil. So now I'm going to add my olive oil, turn my scale on, it's zeroed, and my olive oil is 34 ounces of olive oil. Just going to be pouring and watching the scale. And this will just help bring the temperature of the hard oils down to room temperature because there we go because the olive oil hasn't been heated so and i see a little piece of material in here looks like a fiber from a it looks like a fiber there it is looks like a fiber from a piece of material there we go. Okay. Okay, so the olive oil is in there, and now the castor oil. I'm going to zero it again, and I'm going to add four ounces of organic castor oil. I got my loofahs out of the bag while the hard oils were melting, and um, I got them all ready to dip. So, okay, this is ready. The oils are ready to be mixed with the lye. I'm just gonna give them a stir. Oh, I do need to measure out my fragrance and to get my tablespoon for that. four ounces of fragrance. So I'm going to zero my scale and I want to make sure I have that ready. This um, fragrance, I looked at the label on it. Squeeze it up. And one thing I like that Brambleberry has started to do is they put uh, soap notes behaves well in cold process. Soap, no discoloration. There's no vanilla, so you know it won't brown your soap. Uh, do not apply undiluted directly on skin, fragrance oil. So I'm just pouring the rest of that in there. So uh, I, I really like that they did that because before I would have to go back to their website and see, okay, how does this soap behave? And so they just started putting it on all the bottles, which we're grateful for, Brambleberry. And the last thing we need is uh, So 
in the soap, I'm gonna put in um, four tablespoons of paprika to give it a nice orange look. So, okay, let's get the gloves on. <clears throat> Now this soap, as I'm mixing it, um, I want it to come to like um, a medium trace. So it's, I want it to be kind of thick because I, when I put the loofah in the soap, I want it to stick to it and not like be all watery and come off. Okay. Get my Okay, I'm bringing my lye water over. Just gonna pour it in the side, trying to create as little bubbles as possible. And I'm gonna just leave that here for a minute and go to the sink. And just start mixing it up. Nice creamy color. It's pretty much mixed right now. You can see it there. I'm going to add my fragrance. Keep mixing. And now I'm going to add my paprika. these is a tablespoon so that's one tablespoon two three four so you can see there it's just kind of floating on top so now I'm gonna mix it in Gives it a really nice color. I like using paprika as a natural color. And exfoliation to the soap which really we're making loofah soap so we don't really don't need any more exfoliation than we already have now normally I like to I would stop right now because this is not even at trace yet. Um, normally I would stop because usually I like to soap with, you know, add, now you would have time to add your colors and to separate into different containers and do swirls and stuff like that. But this, I actually want to come to trace. So I'm just going to keep on, um, I'm just going to keep on mixing it until it gets thicker. Okay, my soap finally thickened up. Um, what I did is I just kind of let it sit and a lot of times while your soap is sitting it thickens up So it's like kind of putting like consistently now and if I was to stir it and to let a, um, a stream of it Fall on top of the top of the soap you would see it kind of looks like pudding So it's very beautiful. Oh, I hope you can see that. Can you see that? I hope you can um, Let me just see if I can Get this up to you can you see that? Let me look in the camera. Oh yeah, you can kind of see it. It looks like pumpkin. <laughs> looks like I'm making a pumpkin pie. 
So it's ready now for the loofahs. I, my loofahs are dry, and so I'm just gonna just stick them in there and get messy and gooey. That's all I did, just stick it in. And then what I do is I go back and uh, fill in some of the holes, because these loofahs have got large holes in them. And uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll spoon some soap into the holes so that it'll kind of like solidify in there. I want my clients to get their money's worth and um, out of their soap, that's for sure. I, I always like to give a little bit extra, you know. Okay, this one is creating a puddle, which I don't want to do. So I need to just... As I'm picking the soaps up, I guess I just I want to make sure any excess stays in the bowl because I don't want to make a puddle around my soap because basically that soap that's wasted. Lufa soap is not for everybody. Lufa soap is very exfoliating and some people find it to be too rough. Um, I have most of my clients actually prefer just regular soap without any loofah in it but I like I said I have a couple that they just love scrubbing the loofah on their body so and I like that too of course I do body brushing I do gua sha um, I have a fascia blaster Ashley Black's fascia blaster if you've never heard of Ashley Black's fascia blaster it's a tongue twister look her up because she's got a great really great item there that I think everybody should know about but I'm used to, my skin is very used to being um, scrubbed hard. So I, I like the loofahs as well. Okay, so, so far I've got seven of them. I'm going to pull over my other tray. <clears throat> Out of, if I was to cut bars with this four pounds, I would get... Um, uh, I would get 16 bars, so I like to get, if I don't get 16 bars, I like to try and get 16 bars to make sure that, I'm, you know, there's enough soap in, that each of these loofahs are absorbing. Oh, how much? These make a really terrific gift, and what I did last year is I actually got some some cord and um, made them um, hanging loofah soaps. I, I put a cord through the, the whole part, one of the holes on it, see, and, um, and tied it up um, real loose and then they could hang it on their uh, faucet or whatever, but they, they sold really well and they were such a nice gift. Yeah, these look really, really pretty. See, look. See? See that? That's really nice. Soap left behind. Okay, and now I'm just going to take some gold glitter. Oh, that looks really pretty. And this is one way that I kind of like, how would you say, I try and fight the ash, the soda ash is by just sprinkling some glitter or some herb or something on top. I just get a chopstick and just kind of swirl it all together. Make little swirlies on top if I can, and some of them I can.
Don't forget, you gotta let this sit for four weeks before you use it. And um, it's already the middle of October, so we're looking at the middle of November. So if you're making your Christmas soaps for presents, it's you gotta get making them. See gold glitter floating around. Okay, they're done. Wasn't that easy? That was such an easy, easy uh, recipe. And looks very elegant. It looks like you spent a lot of time making such a nice gift. See this? Isn't that pretty? Very, very nice. I'm very pleased with them. So I have a couple clients waiting for these soaps. And uh, I'm gonna probably have to make another batch, not today though, because I know that they are gonna be in demand for Christmas. <clears throat> okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that video. I'm just gonna let these sit out. I don't, um, I'm not gonna uh, put them in the oven or, or anything like that. I'm just actually gonna put them, I'm gonna actually just put these soaps on my table and then by tomorrow night, actually probably by tomorrow morning or lunch when we get home from church, they'll be done. I'll just peel them right off the parchment and then I'll put them on my drying racks and they'll just stay there. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Super easy. No molds needing, no cutting, no really, uh, really easy recipe. So give it a try. You guys will enjoy it and um, order your loofahs. I, I ordered mine off eBay. And uh, they were very inexpensive. I think I paid maybe a quarter a loofah. So, bye.